you a little update on pregnancy number three or baby number three. Um, I have both the girls here, so it could get a little loud in the background. And I know that a lot of people have a lot of questions because when other YouTube people announce that they're pregnant, I have a lot of questions. So I'm just going to answer the questions that I think I would have. Am I hoping for a boy or a girl? I am probably, I'm not necessarily hoping for a girl, but a girl would definitely be more convenient. I am one of three girls. I have two nieces. I have two girls of my own, so what? Girls are just all around me. I'm used to girls. I'm already a girl mom and, or a mom of girls, girl mom. A boy would kind of throw me off a little bit, I think, and send me for a little bit of a spin is definitely hoping for a boy but we also have all the girl stuff already so it would just make more sense money wise for it to be a girl um but like I said I really don't care either way just like with Adeline I really didn't care either way you were just talking so much my friend how were you not trying if you weren't using anything if you weren't preventing how are you not trying people are like if you're not pre preventing you're definitely trying no actually we weren't um like in a sense so we weren't preventing but when we were trying with Adeline like I was tracking my days of ovulation I was you know counting the days of my cycle and we were like on top of that because we were actively trying like to, down to the day we were trying and this time we were kind of just like not using anything so we weren't necessarily like actively try trying but we weren't preventing so it was like eh, whatever kind of deal do we think it was gonna happen so fast Definitely not. It literally took like that. With Adeline, it took nine months and then we miscarried and then it took two months, three months after that. Nine months is kind of what I thought would happen with this, but obviously it didn't. So that's kind of what I meant when I said we weren't trying because I wasn't actively charting my days. And you know, with breastfeeding, my period was all over the place. I'd have it like every like one month would be five weeks, the next month would be seven weeks, and then six weeks. So I really didn't think that I was pregnant. The other question is how far along are you? With that being said, I'm not sure. I have a doctor's appointment on Wednesday, which is tomorrow, today's Tuesday. I'm not sure when this video will be up. And then from there, we're gonna schedule a dating ultrasound. Sorry if I'm totally not looking at the camera because Adeline's right here and I'm trying to distract her. Bella's like on her skateboard, so it's kind of crazy. I guess it's between nine and 11 weeks. I'm leaning right around 10 weeks right now, but I'm not sure, which is why I haven't done like a week update and I'm kind of just doing this. So I'm going to a birthing center, which I will be able to hopefully have a water birth as long as everything goes as planned. We are also not finding out the gender for this baby. It's going to be a surprise, which I'm excited about. I wanted to do that with Adeline, but Nick really, really wanted to find out. So we kind of compromised and found out with Adeline and then decided that our, our next kid we wouldn't be finding out. So this is going to be like a totally different ball game, but the reason why I'm so adamant on not finding out and doing the water birth this time is just in case it's our last baby, I kind of want to go like all out and not have any regrets like, oh, I would have wanted to do this with another pregnancy or, oh, I wish I could have done that if we got pregnant again. Hey. Just so I'm like content if it were to be our last baby, which we have, it's okay, which we have thrown around that idea. Where will we put this baby, number three? So our plans for our house was a three to five year plan. Um, we wanted to sell within three to five years. This is like definitely our starter home. Um, we have a few options. The basement we're actually finishing in two or three weeks, like the middle of February. And I have a bunk bed. So, um, yeah, the girls are getting bunk beds in Bella's room and the baby's going to be in our room for however long it needs to be anyways. So hopefully Adeline will be in Bella's room by at least the time she turns a year old which then this baby will be on its way um, pretty soon after that. But like I said, so we could go down to the basement, I Nick and I, or we could change the dining room back into a third bedroom that it was. I like having the dining room because everyone can sit down and eat together, and that's just kind of like our family time too. I mean, granted, I have family time all day with the girls, but it's just kind of growing up, that was what we all did. We all ate dinner together in the dining room. I like the idea of the dining room, but if we had to turn it into a third bedroom, it really wouldn't be the end of the world. And it's a possibility that could definitely happen. We just have to literally add a door on and that's the third bedroom, which it originally was. I am still breastfeeding Adeline and I do not have any plans to stop. Hopefully I'll be able to tandem nurse once baby number three comes. Now let's
let's move on, I guess, to talking about how I'm feeling or how I've been feeling. What's up? What's up? So I have been feeling tired, but also Adeline's been teething and Bella has been sick. So they've both have been waking up a decent amount. Yeah. Yeah. Ah, careful. I have been nauseous in the morning and at night. What is up, girl? Other than that, I've been feeling pretty, pretty good. And I will update you guys again once I figure out, like, exactly how far along I am. Other than that, this girl needs a nap. And the other one needs my attention. So I'm going to have to get going. Hopefully this answered a few questions for you guys. And if not, leave them down below. And I will definitely try to answer them down there for you. Thank you guys so much for watching. And I will see you in the next video. Bye, guys.